What's up, people? It's AMP Collectibles. And this video, this is not financial advice, but I do want to go over some thoughts I've been having, and that's all they are. They're just thoughts. Please do your own research. I don't know everything, and I probably won't go over everything. This video may be a two-parter as well. So I'm just leaving this stuff on the table and maybe picking them up while I talk. So let's get into it. Um, so this video is going to be about uh, understanding safe haven investments and what and what they are and how they work. So money, money, money market accounts. Sorry, are an account that is better than a savings account, and in a in a um, versus a CD, a CD has a limit to. The time you can withdraw the money they also penalize you if you do it wrong um, you do it before the date of the maturity uh, while money market accounts remember this is a separate account from your savings account that works like uh, you you only get a certain amount of times you can withdraw it acts like a checking account but you have to have a minimum maintain a minimum balance with, with their requirements and you'll get taxed less because it's um, it's an instrument, a financial instrument, which at the low risk, um, it's not a very good one. Even CDs, I personally don't like them. Let's see this one, maybe um, getting some milk spotting. But uh, I don't like milk spottings, but you gotta remember them somehow. Um, I'll show you some more. Uh, these are like the ones I had, the more recent pickups. Um, I don't know if it's really bright to see that. So that's kind of part of the, what I was gonna talk about. They also have crazy fees. Um, the money market accounts, I believe. So this was some of the cons. Um, you know, if you if you go over their draft uh, withdrawal limits, they do tend to charge you. So that's something else that you may want to keep in mind when it comes to comes to money market accounts. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was. 401ks where you can get either with your employee or a financial institution or um, something to do with finance um, companies. They're uh, different in the way that some of them may match what you put in and then some of them will only put a percentage depending on your employer or the, or the service that you're talking about. And uh, there's also the Roth IRAs, um, which act similar to a 401k. The only difference is that with a Roth IRA, I believe you could invest in stocks and bonds and all that stuff and even precious metals, and you won't get taxed at all. And, but you have to take that money. You're only allowed to take that money out once you hit 59 years old and a half. Well, this one was almost going to – it came out. <laughs> This one is a little, I don't think this is the right capsule for it. It's been coming out. I've been, this one is not too special, but I've been trying to put it in here. As you can see, it's just copper. Um, this is by the, that mint, or that. If you see this logo, then you're, then you have this particular round. Now, why I like this round, as you can see, it's a zombie. Uh, Zombucks, I believe. This is the Zombucks series. And this is the only round from copper that I've seen, like, n um, you know, numbers on them. That's how the back looks from all of them. Uh, I wanted to get the silver ones, but they're super expensive. And I still haven't gotten all of these. I think I still, I'm missing some. Um, I believe I am. As you can see there. Really cool. 
looking current uh, round. Now let's talk about some more stuff. Um, so what is another safe, I would say safe and medium uh, safe investment is blue chip stocks with dividend, they're paying dividends or PMs physically, which with silver, it's a little hard sale. I think obviously gold is more stable, um, but you still get, if you're dabbling in stocks and shares for mining companies, then you will get paid dividends as well, um, which I highly recommend doing both. Uh, we can see that. That's, that's just Merck's junk uh, or constitutional, whatever you want to call it. Maybe I should have turned off the lights on this. That's better. But you can see this is a 40% that I have. Very little 40%. And this is a new bar that I got that I'm really liking. This new deer um, bar metals um so it's really cool really really cool so what else do we want to talk about um so something else i wanted to talk about with this video i'll try not to make it too long this may be a two-parter um Top safe haven assets to be considered during a uh, market volatility. Me, personally, I'm thinking gold. Gold and Bitcoin. Is Bitcoin becoming a safe haven? This is just a, I don't know, made out of something. It's not gold as you can see it's a little paint there i have another one that's silver and actually one that's copper um just didn't find it until in time and this thing is giving me a hard time trying to grab it so let's just slid it over here okay as you can see there this is a swiss <laughs> cut it swiss here 10 grams I think that's going to be the easier thing to get over time once gold skyrockets this is an old MX um, 1 gram bar um, so yeah th I think so I think that Bitcoin is becoming something to rival gold in a or, or complement more like it um with with com uh, combined investments into precious metals or hedging against inflation or whatever you want to call it you you were not going to get rich with uh stacking you're just going to get your purchasing power to be up to par of whatever the monetary uh monetary um inflation has caused throughout the years. So, um, that's one thing. I think uh, a safe haven portfolio is a long-term investment. So you have, to, you can risk, you can minimize your risk in your overall portfolios because of that. Investing in gold, I don't know if none of this is making sense. Investing in gold is a safe haven asset for your portfolio, but it also, but also, is Bitcoin becoming a safe haven asset as well? I don't know. What do you guys think? That's 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 the question of the day. Um, I want to show you this 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 piece too. This great vintage piece in your heart. Had this for quite some time. I think I don't remember when I got it. I got I have had it for a while though. Um, so yeah, this, a bunch of stuff to talk about, um, 
Look at this sweet, sweet pour um, one ounce silver. I love this one. This one's one of my favorites. Just has so much character. I believe it's um can't remember the company right now off the top of my head. I'm gonna leave a link to like where you can buy them or if I find them anywhere. I can't remember the the name of the company that that uh, makes that. I think it's MK Bars. It might be MK Bars. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um. So yeah. Um. What do you guys think about that? And my safe haven investment strategies during the economic uncertainties is taking profits from more risky assets like Bitcoin or crypto in general and rebalancing my portfolios. Portfolios, I'm saying portfolio, I don't know if that's how you say it, pro, um, with, with my allocation that I think of, that I have perceived as my allocation with stable Stable, not stable coins, to stable like cash, you know, money, um, uh, fiat, and safer assets like my savings account or my, um, you know, uh, if I had a CD or anything, I don't. Technically, I don't. I'm just. I'm just saying what they say. The traditional uh, investor would say, um, I mean, traditional um, yeah, investor would say, but I don't agree with everything that I'm saying, uh, that I'm reading right now. I just wrote this down. So what else is another one? Well, there's investing in real estate. And in real estate, um, it could be a great, a great thing for passive income and diversification. And diversification is key. But it could also create a headache um, that you have to know that you're going to have to be in the know and how to uh, deal with everything that you're, um, that you're doing with the real estate business. But it could create a great passive income um, stream. And that's, that's the, the goal. Um, I, just turn to, I just mainly, um, right now, I don't own a home. But I am uh, investing in REITs, and I have uh, heard of REITs in the crypto space as well. So I will be looking into that more, and I can give you further information if you want to know about that. Uh, just let me know. So REITs are creating passive income, you know, because there's shares in a company that pays dividends. And if you didn't know, REITs have to legally pay 90% of their profits to their shareholders. Um, that's how they work. That's why their yields are so high. But don't chase yield. Usually, if you see a lower yield on a REIT, it's a much better buy than an outrageous uh, dividend payment um, you know, yield. So I, that's how I see it. I'm almost finished. Don't, uh, don't worry. Um, the benefits and the risk of safe haven investments. Well, I think the obvious thing is that you're risking lower, so you're obviously not gonna fall for the big dips in in, uh, in the market, but you're gonna miss on the high risk reward scenario where you something may be very risky, but the chances of you becoming ultimately um, much wealthier than you are is there's a chance you know that's why you don't put a lot of money in those those high risk plays you put very little money in it and hope for the best or at least the money that you can afford at the at that point if you think it's a good investment um that's what i think about that and then hedging your portfolio using safe haven assets and again when you have a when you have a savings account when you have and i consider dividends Paying stocks or div or dividend or business or anything like that, that's paying you income besides your nine to five or your regular job, that is considered an asset and that is also considered a way to to minimize your risk because you're already guaranteeing or somewhat knowing that you're going to get a payment of some kind 
that's not then you don't have to work for um as hard obviously so that's always good just remember try to make a passive income play because that's that's another key play in strategy at least for me um again this is not i know i sound like i'm um saying in financial advice i'm saying i'm talking to myself most of this time this whole time i'm trying to remember all this because i forget sometimes and then the last one i don't really agree but i wrote it down it's called um investing in bonds and alternative is safer than alternatives to stocks i've never invested in bonds ever since i started investing the only uh, thing I could consider is that I do dabble in ETFs that are related to bonds, but that doesn't necessarily count. I don't think it does, but it is safer. I haven't seen any big swings at all, even down, even now with the collapse of all these banks. I haven't seen much of a big swing uh, to towards the downside, but uh, I do both. Like I do one for when the the bonds are going down and once when the bonds are going up so it's shorting both sides uh if that makes sense um so when one is going up and one is going down um the bad thing about them so far that i've noticed very few of them pay dividends so you gotta keep that in mind that you're you're playing the buy low and sell cheap i mean buy <laughs> buy low and sell high sorry and uh you know, that that just is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this was a little bit of a ramble, but maybe this makes sense to somebody out there. You know what to do if you haven't done it yet. Please like, share, and rate this video. I really appreciate it. Later.